Does anybody remember when Laura Loomer posted a fake gun and bullet drop calculation for Mandalay Bay stationery online and drew it in paint? Or somebody did it and... Yeah, good times. Anyway, let's get on with it. So the uh, police department put this out. Now, um, I don't want to criticize them, but you could have just got a little closer so we could read it. Anyway, it says some number. It could be 2,000, 7,000. It could be someone's phone number. It seems to have a point eight, And then it says Yeds or Ibers. And then it has what looks like it could be a number or it's IOD, inches of draw. So it's probably inches of draw. Then we have 500 equals 5 something. I'm assuming it's feet and 1,000 equals and we can't read it. And it doesn't really improve when people do the Okay, if it's an informational file, if it's if it's if it's a photo of somebody who cares what the scale is, but if it's text written out by hand, can't you just move the camera a little closer, guys? I mean, come on, for reals. So anyway, let's get on with it. The numbers are inches of drop, about five feet at 500, and at a thousand feet, something with three digits. At 2,000 feet, not 2,000 yards is almost exactly the distance to the fuel tanks, the first set you run into, that are near East Mandalay Bay and Havana, ha- Haven Street. That's the most likely suspect, but let's go for it. What would happen if it was 2,000 feet or 2,000 yards for a calculation? By the way, he didn't do a calculation. The Laura Loomer thing was a mock-up or a mockery. The orange circle that isn't completely circular represents all the areas he could have hit at, possibly. Now, the way he was positioned, he couldn't hit anything on the left, but I included it for completeness. And I do the same rule. Go to the location at max distance you could be hit by and look back at the Mandalay Bay. Part of the Mandalay Bay blocks off everything because it's kind of a triangular-shaped arrangement. So this corner here, this place here, right next to the tanks, this here, which is just outside the fairgrounds, you know, parking lot for Tropicana could have been hit, and then up here, and a lot of this stuff is obscured, and a huge chunk of it is obscured by the um, Bellagio, or not Bellagio, Delano over here. So there's a huge chunk you can't hit through. There's a bunch of obstacles. The clearest view from his place is up and down the strip here, and out here towards the tanks. There's really not much to shoot at, and that's your optimal angle if he was trying to stay dead center. And where he was located was not perfect, but very nearly perfect for shooting into here, right in the sweet spot. Shooting over this way, you could have hit the McDonald's or something like that, and maybe hit some areas where nobody was at. That's really what's going on there. But like I said uh, in the previous image, uh, the apartments, the Oasis apartments, he could have shot at the Oasis apartments right here but he couldn't shoot anything behind it. So the best place to shoot, the only thing to shoot at, would be the people here, and the closest thing he could hit that could cause some movie-type explosion in his head would have been those two tanks, and they are things that were hit. Okay, It doesn't make sense to expand it out to here, but yes, technically he could shot airplanes as they were taking off and landing. That is absolutely true. The likelihood of it would have been a lot lower, but okay, could have. But all of this area here is the same thing. And I have included below in the links below me, you can see that this entire thing here, this entire wedge, is basically just the airport. This outcropping of buildings is part of the airport. And someone decided to post a video where they said, instead of shooting this, maybe he shot some tanks that are over here. Okay. But the calculations don't bear that out. Now, if he was shooting that far... He could have fired down this road here and hit cars while they were moving as they were moving away if he wanted to shoot them. Or he could have literally shot the Tropicana or maybe lobbed some bullets out here. It's a very long distance. Um, but anyway, let's go. <clears throat> These are the actual calculations that come up when you type in 223 and bullet drop, you know, uh, inches of drop. At 1,000 feet, you get almost exactly 700 inches of drop. And at 500 feet, you get almost exactly 60 inches or 5 feet. 
and over here again at uh, that was 500 negative 64 almost exactly five feet and over here it's actually it's almost exactly 700 but it's 10 feet sh 10 inches short okay all right so let's look at that original page of calculations no Laura not yours okay his shows 500 equals five feet that's what that seems to look like and in here the 1000 is some three digit number Again, thank you, Las Vegas Police Department, for making this virtually impossible to do. Why? Why? So anyway, YIDS, or Y equal D delta, it's inches of drop. This is five feet instead of inches, and this is, that looks like it could be 890 or something at 1,000. And this one could be 2,000 or some other damn word he was using. We don't know because we don't have a good thing. And I don't think that's yards because yards isn't, a, that's not a four, it's not a four letter word. So Y equal D four, he might have actually been doing it based on that to figure out inches of drop from a drop calculator. But it's not linear so that doesn't make sense. So at 2,000 feet he would have been able to hit those two tanks and, he, and the angle and the impact actually show that he hit it, period, full stop. Speculation is bullshit for anything else. These other distances are bizarrely long distance. They're three times further away, literally. That really does reduce your likelihood of succeeding. And yeah, uh, six something, six ninety. No, no, not Laura. Six ninety being the bottom one. Yeah, it could be it. This could be the circle of the six, and this could be a poorly drawn six, and that's probably ninety. I'm sorry, but what happened is he didn't do any calculations. He didn't do a calculation of any kind. He looked up one of these charts and that's it. This was pointed out within the first few hours of that's what I would do because that's what everybody would do. Why would you do calculations longhand when you can look at it on the left side there and get real numbers? And then the most math you'd have to do is figuring out 60 inches is 5 feet. He rounded things off too. No, he was only shooting at the uh, at uh, at that distance of 2,000 feet, if that's even 2,000. And yes, the police department need to do a better job. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that.